Okay, afternoon everyone. Um, hope everybody's keeping well and safe. Um, I've spent most of the day today um, stripping the mechanics down for the scale fuselage for the MD500E. And I've got to say, um, you know, what a fantastic job Motion RC are selling these as plug and play. And even though I've taken the time today to completely strip the helicopter out of the fuselage and I've gone through it from top to bottom checking everything, checking making sure everything is thread locked and credit where credit is due the helicopter was built fantastic but it's one of these things where um, you know you, you pay a lot of money for something and it's called plug and play and you put the blades on, set it up and fly it something comes loose, something's not thread locked there's no way of knowing unless you take everything apart and double check and that's what I've done but I've got to say that every single screw I took out was thread locked so you know it's one of those things it can feel like a bit of a waste of time but it is essential to make sure that everything is done uh, one problem that I did come across was the meshing from the motor pinion to the main gear was just too tight and um, what I always do is put a piece of paper in and mesh it with a piece of paper in between the teeth so that when you take the paper out then you've got that little bit of backlash and it's always a good idea to rotate the main gear to find where they set this tightest because they're not always perfectly round and then you mesh it where they set this tightest and then just double check to make sure that you've got that backlash right around the main gear so uh, that was something that needed to be done um, amazingly enough as I said the whole helicopter was built and put together with thread lock but the one thing that was missing was because of their metal gear servos the servo horn screws go into metal and they weren't thread locked so it's just as well that I actually checked everything because something like that could cause a failure when you're flying but you know it was pretty much spot on um, there's bits as you can see everywhere I've pretty much spent the day my tools are all over the place and you know I felt that it was necessary to just check everything okay so my next job really is uh, tomorrow to possibly start setting up the electronics the gyro obviously making sure that um, my radio is set up and I haven't decided what receiver I'm going to use yet it's either going to be just a standard six channel spectrum receiver or possibly I'm going to use one of the new six channel antennaless receivers as I said I haven't decided um, but I've also if you look where my fingers point in there okay you've got um, just a little plastic piece there that goes onto the tail setup and it's got a little locating lug that goes into a hole on the tail boom now these plastic pieces um, this helicopter the mechanics is actually made by Gart so it's a T-Rex 450 clone but even with these align parts the little black um, piece that goes into the tail boom for some reason always shears off so I've actually ordered a metal one of those which is going to come next week but you know I've got it now where it's turning nice you can see there the tails turning the correct way um, so it was just a couple of hours just checking everything and making sure it's ready for the next stage okay so what I'm gonna do is as I'm going through this build I'm just gonna do these uh, videos just to report how it's going and just to tell everybody what my uh, intended steps are gonna be but you know for day one I'm really pleased and just wanna thank everybody that watches my channel 
if you're watching my content and enjoying it and you're not subscribed then please hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell you'll be notified then when I'm uploading new videos and you know thank you to everybody that takes the time to watch my channel okay bye